Now we're joined today by our nutritionist. Uh, since we're eating nice and healthy in the kitchen this morning, I'm loving the spread we put out there, Winfrey. Nice one, nice one. Uh, big shout out to the chef. We have with us Abimbola Olushulanke. Now she is on the nutrition segment this morning to pinpoint some foods that we need to scrap, get rid of. Vamos from our <laughs> menu in 2022. I know I'm being dramatic about this, but it's for a reason. Because next year, out with the old, in with the new. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Titi. All right, so the best way to wrap up the year when it comes to nutrition is to plan what we're going to be eating next yeah. year. So they say, okay, uh, we shouldn't talk about things you should not eat, but this time I really want us to go there and say things that we've been, probably been eating this year that mm -hmm. we should really not be eating anymore. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so before I go into that, can I, like, set a little background to okay. why I'm making today's recommendations? Okay. Right. You know, when COVID hit us in 2019, everybody was caught off guard. Yeah. And then it brought into spotlight that our health was actually very completely compromised, a lot of people. Yeah. And your foundation is your nutrition. The foundation of your health is your nutrition, such that when you're taking medication, supplements, vaccines, and stuff, yeah. if the foundation is not right, it's like building in thin air. Mm. It's not going to hold. So that is why I'm making recommendations today about being intentional and intelligent about you know, our eat. food, yeah, about what we eat. So okay. quickly going into what we should... From, I strongly recommend that a lot of things that we consider as staples should actually be removed. And okay. I'm going to walk them through three steps, very simple steps that okay. I capture, uh, captioned Eden. So Eden. the E yeah. is the um, eliminate which are the things we want to remove, like yeah. your white bread, okay. right, which, which is made of bleached flour that mm. can be carcinogenic for some people in, wow. in most cases. You want to remove a refined sugar, okay. refined carbohydrates, all um, artificial colorings, mm. preservatives, artificial sweeteners, mm. artificial seasonings, mm. caffeine, mm. alcohol. These are things that compromise our health mm. and can also harm our organs, you know. Okay, so I have to go back over that again. You mm -hmm. said white bread yeah. because of the bleached flour. Yeah. So flour, a lot of people don't know that wheat when it's ground yeah. into powder, mm -hmm. it actually comes out brown. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people don't know this. Exactly. So um, you're saying the bleached nature of this flour mm -hmm. is what makes it so unhealthy. Exactly. So okay. it contains, so at the end of the day, when they are bleaching, they use chlorine and bromide, oh, which wow. makes, these are carcinogenic okay. substances. So, yeah. Yeah, you know, they are chemicals. Okay. And when you, so I'm not saying that if you eat one slice, it's mm -hmm. going to compromise you, but... They're, they're staples, so yeah. we eat them, most people eat them every day, and mm. then you're just stacking the toxins in your system, compromising the health and immunity. So we find alternatives such as brown bread, yeah. and um, possibly removing bread from, you can as remove, a staple. Yes, just okay. go, so my rule of thumb at this stage is think more of things that glow close, close to the um, earth. Okay. So like 80% of your diet should be made of things. So maybe once in a while you go visiting, they offer you that. You don't want to be rude to your host or hostess. Yes. You can take one. But the, 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 the guiding principle should be 80% of what I'm eating should be whole, wholesome foods that okay. are close to the earth. All right. Yeah. Now, artificial coloring. Yeah. Um, now, coloring, um, they all have color codes. If you look yeah. at the ingredients on a, mm -hmm. a bottle of soda, for instance, yeah. most of the carbonated drinks are, have uh, coloring like in it. Yeah, uh, it. Juice mm, has yeah. mm -hmm. coloring mm -hmm. added to it mm -hmm. as well. Um, I know cake. A lot of people like red velvet cake. And now that red velvet cake is actually <laughs> it's, it's it's packed full of coloring. Exactly, exactly. So why is food coloring so bad? They affect, they have also um, like, um, I think, uh, glycol, pro propylene glycol, glycol or something like yeah. that. You know, all these are technical names, but the bottom line is that they affect your kidney functions. Wow. Some of them affect your thyroid function. So if one is trying to lose weight, your thyroid is not functioning properly. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. It's going to... I mean, it's going to frustrate the, the goal. Yeah. And also, some of them affect your, your cardiovascular system. Some, some of them you know, like distort the pathways in your, in your body because our bodies are, are powered by hormones. And when the hormones are 
compromised, then it means they are sending distorted messages. So yeah. just imagine the brain box of a car, for instance, yeah. if it's been compromised. If you are pressing the horn, for instance, yeah. maybe the speaker will be, will be blasting or something. Yeah. So that's what happens when it is compromised. Okay. And this is what these um, okay. harmful foods do to our bodies. All right. So um, maybe stick with vanilla cake, which has no coloring in it. Yeah, you also want to, like, you know the last time I mentioned yeah. that ratios? Yes. Yeah. So you can actually do your homemade bakings yourself. Okay. Like my, my daughter, we were eating bread yesterday, and she was like, oh, maybe we have to start baking our bread now. Yeah. Because most of the bread out there, they, are, they have improvers, they have all sorts of... Um, unhealthy sub substances that are, are compromising us. So you want to think in ratios, add some mm. help, like maybe you want to bake your bread, you can add flax seed or chia seeds, that is fiber, okay. that, those are omega-3 fatty acids that will help you get rid of the right. radical, uh, free radicals now, in your body. Can we talk a bit about fast food? We have things like donuts that people grab every day, yeah. meat pies mm -hmm. and the like. Now these are all made of the same flour we're talking about, yeah. but they're also fried. Yeah. Uh, you, you gave an acronym and we started with E. e yeah. Uh, so do we eliminate those as well? We eliminate them because a lot of them contain phthalates. Okay. These, are, these are like BPAs that also cause um, immune system, uh, compromise our immune system. They cause inflammations in our system, okay. which is the foundation of most non-communicable diseases like um, cancer, like wow. um, stroke, like... Okay. hypertension and stuff like that. So we have to eliminate them. Okay. And, w and so the second stage is the D, okay. which is detoxify. And I'm not talking about the hype to detoxes, uh, fruit yeah. cleansers. And these are just things that you can do naturally on daily basis because we are exposed to these tox toxins on daily. In fact, our beauty products, our washing products, some of them have this product uh, okay. ingredient. So you want to help your system to detoxify, yeah, daily. Okay, so now we've, we've, we've taken the E and the D, yeah. uh, but now we need to take the rest of those and letters on social media, okay. afraid, because we've gone short of time, but hopefully we're getting that message across. Please visit our page at TVC Connect uh, and uh, with the hashtag Wake Up Nigeria on TVC, make your comments. I have to say thank you so much for coming through for us this December. And uh, yeah, happy new year. I hope that was useful. Oh, of course you <laughs> okay. were. And hey, for those of you out there who are wondering why you eat right, even if it's just because when you eat right, the dress will fit. <laughs> no pun intended.